Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to play around with the target attribute for hyperlinks or anchor tags. And this comes up a lot in class where a student wants a hyperlink, but they don't want it to open up on their own page. They want it to open up a new, in a new tab. Pretty easy to do using the target attribute. And there's a lot of old stuff the target attribute can do that we'll never touch on, but let's give it a try here. So I do have a web page already started. Let's zoom in nice and big on this font. And let's just go ahead and put down a normal anchor tag as we would expect. So anchor href, and I'll just do, um, just go to eBay, sounds fine. And we'll just do uh, hyperlink number one. Okay, and let's see how this looks on our web page. And there we go, so there is my hyperlink. It just happens to be purple because it's a visited link in my browser, but otherwise, there we go, it's standard hyperlink. Now, notice what happens when I click on this, and let's make a mental note of this too. I'm using the Edge browser here, and I have one, two, three, four, five tabs open at the moment. So I click on my hyperlink one, takes me to eBay's website, but notice I still only have five tabs open. That's a standard standard hyperlink. Nothing exciting there. Now, the target attribute goes inside of there, and there's several things we can put in there. So um, you can do underscore self. However, that's the exact same thing as not doing any target at all. So target equals underscore self. Click that hyperlink, I go back to eBay, nothing different over there. Click the back button on my browser. So if you're gonna do target equals underscore self, you may not do anything. However, what my students tend to do a little bit more often is target equals underscore blank. Now when you do underscore blank, in fact, let's do this. I'm gonna put this back to underscore self. And let's just do a little copy paste. So now we have two of these and we'll make hyperlink number two. And for this one, we'll do underscore blank. Let's see what the difference is with this. Head back to my page. So again, on my Edge browser, I've got one, two, three, four, five tabs open. I'm gonna click on hyperlink number two. Notice the eBay website opens up and I've got a sixth tab. I don't have my previous tab covered up. Notice also I can't click the back button on my browser. So sometimes that can be a little bit tricky to, to users, but I'll go back to my web page and there we go. So underscore self or nothing at all just opens up the, the, the hyperlink on top of the page that contains the hyperlink. Whereas um, underscore blank is gonna open up a new browser. Notice I keep clicking that underscore blank. Let's go back and try that again. I'm gonna click my hyperlink to underscore blank and I keep opening up that page in tabs. So that can be a little bit annoying to people. Now there's something else we can do. Actually, there's several things we can do. Copy and paste and I'm gonna go ahead and make a hyperlink three in anticipation of something here. And I'm gonna go down a little bit further on my page and I'm gonna use what's called an iframe. Now, iframe, you may not have used it much and there's not a ton of occasion to use it, but they are kind of neat. And let's see, I'm gonna take my iframe and let me go ahead and do some quick styling. That seems reasonable. But I'm also gonna put a source on here. The source of my iframe is going to be apple.com. Let me put this on different lines though so it's easy to see what's going on. So how many people have used the iframe tag before? It's kind of neat. Let's see what this gets me. Head back over to my page. Oh, and look at this. Looks like Apple is refusing to connect to my iframe, but we can still play around with this. I will change out apple.com to uh, RalphPhillips.com, I'm not blocking anything like that. And so with an iframe, we can load up another page within a web page. So that's kind of weird. And uh, in addition to this, we can give this iframe a name. I'll call it frame, frame one, just give it a generic name. And what we can do with our, our target attribute, we can actually target that particular frame. So my target is frame one. Now I don't think eBay's gonna work because they're probably blocked. However, let me change this out to my school's website. I bet you that one will work. So hyperlink three. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on my hyperlink three, which should, should load up Central Oregon Community College and it should display in this iframe. So when I click on hyperlink three, 
There we go. So now we've got that school website loading up in there. So I'm using the target attribute to target a specific inline frame that is on that web page. And I'm simply combining the name attribute with that target attribute. Now, if I use a target for something that doesn't exist, let's say I type in frame two. Well, I don't have a frame named frame two. So if you use a name that doesn't exist, it's gonna be kind of similar to underscore blank. Not exactly the same, but kind of the same. So now I've got this hyperlink to coc.edu and I'm using a target that doesn't exist. So let's head back over here, refresh just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and click on hyperlink three. Oh, by the way, let's make a mental note of this. One, two, three, four, five. Let me close out some of these other tabs. So I've got five tabs open. I'm gonna click on hyperlink three. Notice that opens up the school website and it loads up a sixth tab. Now check this out. Head back over to my markup and I will change this out to ralphphillips.com. So I'm still gonna keep that tab open. It's still referring to frame two. And I'm gonna click on, let's refresh this just in case. I'm gonna click on hyperlink three. Notice I have six tabs open. I'm gonna click on hyperlink three. And look, it doesn't open a new tab, but it goes back to that previous tab that was opened and loads up that new web page. So, fun stuff here. Target equals underscore self, you can leave that out. It just opens the page on top, that's the default. Target equals underscore blank will open up a new tab every time the person clicks the link. So if you have 10 links, all with target equal underscore blank, they will open up 10 new tabs on the user's uh, browser. And of course, target equals, just give it a name. You can open up, open up a new tab on the first time and then subsequent hyperlinks on your page will go to that pre-existing tab. And of course, if you wanna use an iframe in there, give that iframe a name and then you can target that iframe specifically by referring to that name value. Thanks for hanging out with me.